The uh, the referendum on the Eighth Amendment. Um, your minister Regina Doherty uh, said a couple of weeks ago. I think she got her knuckles wrapped for it for saying that without intervention, as things stood, the referendum would be lost. There's an awful lot of confusion out there. I mean, if you if you were putting your money at the moment, you'd say perhaps the odds even favoured the, the no side in this referendum. Well, just just to make sure, Regina, she, she didn't get her knuckles wrapped by me. I, I thought what Chat she said was was, was quite sensible. Was that uh, people can't just assume that uh, this referendum will pass. It is uh, incumbent on all of us who believe that the current laws are wrong, uh, that they're cruel to women, that they're too restrictive. It's incumbent on all of us to go out there and um, explain to the public um, the changes we're trying to make and why. Uh, and that's what's going to happen between now and uh, the referendum in the summer. Uh, I believe fundamentally this isn't about what any politician thinks. Uh, this is about uh, trusting women and trusting doctors. The Tawn is just saying he's not going to vote for what you're proposing. Yeah, I, I think I think you'll see that the majority of um, people in the Oireachtas will take the view that, that they will vote for what was recommended. Let's not forget, not by government, but by an all-party committee sure. uh, having listened to a citizens' assembly. So this wasn't plucked out of thin air. This was, was as a result of evidence analysis, deliberations by the citizens' assembly and also a cross-party committee. You'll be- but in a nutshell, what it boils down to, what we're proposing, uh, is that in the first 12 weeks of pregnancy um, that we trust women, we allow women to decide whether they want to continue with that pregnancy or not. Uh, bear in mind um, that's the period during which the abortion pill works and loads of people, thousands of people in Ireland are taking those pills um, every every year, yeah. unregulated, over the internet, yeah. serious health, health risks there. Uh, and whereas 12 weeks, I know to a lot of people sounds maybe like a lot of time, bear in mind you might not actually know you're pregnant for four to six weeks because generally yeah. speaking it's only when people miss their period that okay. they... That they, that they, that they, they, they they go off and, and, and have, have, have a pregnancy test done. And then after that, after 12 weeks, we're asking people to trust doctors, doctors to know um, where uh, a termination uh, may be required to protect the health, for example, uh, uh, of a woman. Okay. So the argument I know from the no side uh, is going to be, you know, you can't trust politicians. And, you know, that's a clever argument, but it's not what we're asking people. We're asking people to trust women and trust their doctors. Okay.